Hello everyone, thank you for being here. I will present today uh, how the minimization of partially separable problem within the Julia Smooth Optimizer ecosystem operate with the help of JUMP. So this research was uh, conducted jointly with uh, Dominique Orban, Jean Bijon, and uh, myself. So first, what is a partially separable problem? It is a problem that can be formulated as a sum of element function fi, and the particularity of uh, element function is uh, that they depend only on a small subset of uh, decision variable instead of the, all the decision variables. And those, uh, this subset of variables is selected by the linear operator ui, which is not a matrix. Uh, partial separability occurs in a lot of uh, large scale optimization problems. And in fact, any problem having a sparse session is partially separable. And for example, uh, variational calculus, optimal control, and sparse nonlinear least square problems are all partially separable. So the interest of partial separability lies in, the, in their partition derivatives. So you can see here the, the gradient, which is an, ap an aggregation of the elementation. And uh, it is the same for the Asian, which is uh, an, an aggregation of the element Asian or an approximation of the elementations. And those element gradients or elementation are not of size n, but uh, only of size ni or ni times ni. So you have an example here. And f is uh, sums, sorry, f sums uh, three element functions, each of uh, dimension three. And you can see here that the, the gradient aggregates the element contribution of the gradients of size three to form a vector of size n, of, of, of size five in this case. And uh, the same goes for the Asian, which uh, aggregate the element contribution uh, in pink, red, and blue, which is crowd, spread across the matrix to form a, a complete matrix. Having the knowledge of a UI uh, result in the partition matrix B, maintaining the sparsity structure of the uh, of f, and which is particular, particularly interesting is that the memory footprint of the partition matrix B is not in n and plus one on two, but uh, on the same sum of the ni ni plus one on two, which is a lot smaller than uh, n, n plus one on two in the case where the element dimension is a lot smaller than the total problem. So first to explore the partial separability, the first step is to retrieve the structure. And then that's the work of expression tree forge, which provide uh, an expression tree format as well with, uh, fin, with several tree works to propagate properties. And in fact, it can retrieve the element function or the uh, linear operator UI. So here is an example similar to the previous slide, three element function with uh, each of the uh, dimension three. And you can see here the expression tree of uh, this function and the, so to retrieve first the element function, the first step is to re remove the additive operator at the root of the expression tree here. So this is uh, highlighted by the dotted edges. And then when you have your element functions, expression tree, uh, you have to detect which variables are parameterizing this expression tree. So you can start with the, you can make a recursive algorithm starting from the leaf and fixing the the variable appearing in each leaf, which is either one value or an empty set for the constant, constant nodes. And then by propagating and, and making the union of the indices up to the root, you can retrieve all the variable appearing in the sub-expression tree. And uh, for the first expression uh, element function expression tree, you have one, two, three, which allow us to define the first uh, linear operator U1. The same scheme can be applied to retrieve other values, such as the inferring some bounds or the convexity status for expression tree. And this is the case, but instead of uh, making only the union between the value propagated from the leaves, you have to apply operator rules at every node. The main, one of the main features of expression tree forge is that it supports several external expression tree formats. And for example, it supports the Julia type EXPR, and therefore it supports the jump models with the help of a convert to XPR function, as well as a Julia function with the symbolics. 
Next, we have to define some dedicated partition structure to perform some optimization method later. And so those two modules, partition structures and partition vectors, implement partition its matrix, several kinds of partition matrices, and the partition vectors, as well as several routines needed for optimization algorithm, such as the norm, the dot, and the mule, which as an example here. So you can see here the partition matrix multiplied by a, a partition vector, which results from the linear application of every UI onto the vector V. And the result of the uh, element matrix vector product return a, a partition vector and uh, aggregate it all together, it forms a, a vector of size N. And lastly, to my research was mainly about uh, partition Casey-Newton methods. So th those modules implement the partition Casey-Newton updates to approximate the elementation and therefore approximate the Asian, the completion. So you can use BFGS or SR1 approximation to every elementation approximation. The sole difference is that you use SI and YI instead of S and Y, and uh, it is the linear application of between the difference of two iterates and the difference between two element function gradients. Lastly, partially separable NLP model combines the previous model modules sorry, to, to detect the partial separability and allocate the partition data structure, and it also computes the partition derivatives. The most straightforward way to do so is by applying dense automatic differentiation engine onto the element function fi, either to compute the element gradient of the, or the element Asian vector product, and that can be done with either jump by modeling the, the element function or by applying reverse diff or forward diff onto the element expression tree deduced from expression tree forge. Another way to do so is to compute a sparse Jacobian model with jump, and for example, you can take this function f, which sums five element function at most of uh, two element variables. And by uh, the, the pattern of the, the Jacobian is such as this one. And you can perform an col orthogonal column coloring to retrieve a scene matrix, which is a lot smaller than the identity. And therefore, you have to make less call to the forward diff function to retrieve all the path and partial derivative of the element functions. So here is an overview of how GSO uh, exploit the feature of those uh, problems. And uh, the end product of uh, GSO is the, the GSO solvers. So for example, the trust region solver trunk. And it has, uh, since it is uh, an abstract solver, the, let's see, the, the execution of the algorithm will be specified depending on the model used because each model has a particular uh, feature. So my work was to uh, define uh, partition Casey-Newton models, which are a subclass of Casey-Newton models. So you, you find again the module I presented earlier, expression tree force and partition structures. And uh, a little discretion, uh, partition vectors is made to satisfy the abstract vector interface to make the trust fusion solver work properly. And there is also a partition Asian vector project that use the partial separability to increase the Asian vector product. So now let's take a look at some performance profiles made on the 63 partially separable problem of size 5,000. And those problems cannot run for more than 50,000 objective evaluation or more than one hour. And we consider them solved if they reach either an absolute or relative first order convergence. So you can see here the iteration, and uh, those two curves represent the Newton method, HV and part HV, and, uh, which usually make less iteration than the other methods. And uh, the partition Casey-Newton method are those two curves, while the limited memory Casey-Newton methods are the last ones. But if we take a look at the running time, you can see that the partition Casey-Newton methods are more efficient than any other methods, especially uh, PSR1. So to summarize this talk, uh, I've presented several modules for optimization, but uh, I relied on many more from GSO, such as GSO Solver, Krilov for optimization problems, the, the modules from JumpDev, Jump and Matopt interface, and uh, from SciML also with Embolix. So thank you for developing those modules and uh, for your attention. Okay.